You guys know what time it is. I know what time it is. It's time for TJ Watt. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Let's get into the shit. DJ, his entry on this. How'd he do that? Left, right, left, inside, got to the quarterback. Ben surprised. That little son of a gun is good. He's an aware player. TJ Watt came flying in. Bang! Now, before I watch this, guys, I, I, you know, I've got to give him the time of day. Look. It's two and a half, well, it's two minutes, 50 seconds long. It's not going to be long enough. I, I'm not going to see any highlights, really. Um, you know, this is my first look at TJ Watt. I've never seen him before. And yet, he's the brother of JJ Watt, and most likely going to be a star in his own right, if not already. So with that being said, he's at number 93. I'm fucking stoked. He wasn't on the list last year. And if he wasn't on this list, I probably wouldn't be reacting to him. So General Show HD... Actually, let's get a couple of stats first. I'll do it right. I need to know his size, speed. Steelers, he went the 30th pick in the first round of the 2017 draft. 6 foot 4, 24 years of age. 114 kilo, 252 pounds. A sack machine, I, I, I've heard. Yes, he got. What did he get? Seven sacks in his first year, 13 sacks last year, uh, six forced fumbles, and three pass deflections. He received an overall grade of 75.8 from Pro Football Focus in 2018, which ranked as the 24th highest grade among all qualifying edge defenders. So he's a linebacker. Is he? Outside linebacker. He got a... Four-year, $9.25 million contract. And uh, he is now the starting outside linebacker for the Steelers. He started in the season opener at the Cleveland Browns and recorded a season-high 10 combined tackles, 7 solo. 10 tackles in a game of football. That's fucking crazy. Three sacks. Three sacks! <laughs> and blocked a potential game-winning field goal during overtime. In a 21-21 tie, he earned Defensive Player of the Week for his performance. I'm not fucking surprised. In another game, he had eight tackles, tied his season high of three sacks, and forced a fumble in the Steelers' win against the, the Fal Falcons. His performance earned him his second AFC Defensive Player of the Week award of the year. He started in all 16 games and recorded 68 combined tackles. Fucking hell. Six foot four, flying around like that. What an absolute beast. He's white too. For a guy like me, if my brother was, you know, JJ White and I was coming to the league, uh, I wouldn't want that kind of pressure. I would use it as like motivation. Like, I see my brother doing it. Why can't I do it? Why can't I go out there and, and be just like him or even try to be better than him? Hell yeah. Up, man. Uh, well, he's, he's living up to the last name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, rem <laughs> I remember these guys from last year, I think. No, I don't. No, it was two guys from the guys from the Packers last year that were talking. He's living up to the last name. TJ may be known as JJ's little brother, but the younger Watt is quickly making a name for himself. Thing for TJ understanding the <laughs> Oh, we're gonna try that. Yeah. Growth it takes from year one to year two. I thought TJ showed more growth in this pass rush. You feel him like in the pocket coming off the edge. You either have the best pass rush or you don't. So you know that one two step off the line. You know, as a quarterback you catch the ball, you see that you know, I to get this ball out. Yeah you do. 13 sacks for the year well, from 16 all, games. Watt, you, you just know, oh, that, yeah, that's JJ Watt's little brother, right? Ah! Ah! TJ's little brother following right there in his footsteps. I mean, the Watt family, what can I say, man? They're building on the strong. 
Wow. What a play by T.J. Watt. Michael Crabtree was the target, and T.J. Watt drilled him. He's just another one of those guys. You got to know where he's at and pay attention to him on defense. Watt on four near. That first Cleveland game, when we first played against the Browns, was my first time being in the game, first time being with... Man, look at this guy's eyes. Uh, first, a little bit of action, and TJ's just out there balling. I think he had three or four sacks that game. He's just getting through the line, just demolishing anybody that's going against him. Three sacks. And then he's going to block the game-winning field goal for us. Kickers on its way. It's up! And the Steelers come up big with a special teams play. Just Let me see that block. I heard about it. I want to see it now. Where is he? There he is. Just. Just seeing TJ out there doing his thing, that was crazy. TJ Watt is looking awfully excited. Good game, little brother. Woo! Proud of you. Go to step up, brother. Hmm. I feel like that last guy at the end is the Australian. No, 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 that's not the Australian. I thought that was Adam Gotsis or whatever his name is. Anyways. TJ Watt, man, he he did. He has it. He he had a stellar season last year, and this guy wanted me to react to him before he even started that last season. So I obviously knew something special was going to happen, and that it did. Anyways, guys, that was TJ Watt. The next guy we're going to look at is number 92, Jarrell Casey, defensive end for the Tysons. And uh, a defensive end is on the outer edge, on a 4-3, on a if you've got a 4-3 defense, you've got two, you're going to have two tackles, two defensive ends, and three linebackers. So a defensive end is going to be trying to get to the quarterback and sacking the shit out of him. Okay, let's get into it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.